Hello everybody and welcome back to All Things Nail for a little bit of everything all in one place. And yes, it is time for us to spring forward. You heard me, spring forward. It is daylight savings time. And a lot of people have been asking me, Nail, exactly what is daylight savings time and why do we spring forward and, do, and we fall back in the fall? Daylight savings time is the practice of setting the clocks for one hour from standard time during the summer months and back again in the fall in order to make better use of natural daylight. However, it gets a little deeper than that. Long story short, Benjamin Franklin is the one that came up with daylight savings time. He just simply discovered that the sun provides lights as soon as it rises. Therefore, you should stop wasting energy on, energy on lighting and just practice daylight savings time. Thus came up with the reason to spring the clocks back early in the summer and move them back in the winter. Though it was, a, it was another century before it actually was kind of put into play, Germany started using it in May of 1916 as a way to save fuel during World War I. Basically, after World War I, it was abolished and done away with until the next World War when it was put back into effect. After that, it was kind of a free for all for any state to kind of do what they wanted to, but it was so much chaos of people being late, people not being on time, that they had to set up a system to make everybody abide by the same rules, thus giving us daylight savings time. Many states, such as California, have fought really hard to try to abolish daylight saving times, but here's the reason why it's still around. Regardless if you remove, if we spring the clocks forward or backwards, it's not going to change it getting dark later or having longer nights and longer days. And here's the reason why. Earth moves from the winter seasons to the spring seasons, with the longest days of the year being the summer solstice. During the summer seasons, each hemisphere on Earth revolves around on its axis at an angle. It tilts directly toward the sun, giving us summer, and then it tilts back, giving us winter as it rotates. So see, regardless if we have it or not, we're still going to have those days. And two, this is something that's very important. It is better to recognize daylight savings and let people know that they are losing that hour of sleep so they can adjust accordingly. Most of the accidents that occur on the on the roads and on highways is because people lose that hour of sleep and they're really tired and sleepy and they don't understand why. By acknowledging daylight savings time, it makes people aware. It's also a height of time that people tend to be more, de more depressed, more agitated, and more irritated. So by keeping the times in place it helps people to acknowledge the time that it is and why they are so tired irritated more than usual and so forth it even helped doctors understand how to help patients especially those that suffer suffer from depression and other mental health issues because the seasons changing does affect that okay so there's always been this myth that daylight savings times was, was for farmers, but the truth is farmers don't even really care for daylight savings time. Back then, they thought by changing the time, it was making them have to start work later because farmers like to start work early. Soon as like before the sun comes up, they're already there waiting, ready to go. It doesn't matter if you take it away or not. It's still going to happen because of how the earth rotates. So thus, that's a myth. Remember, this is also a good time to check your monoxide poisoning alarms, your fire alarms, and everything to make sure they work correctly and change the batteries. Using daylight savings times is a good reminder for these things as well as changing out light bulbs. I hope this quick summary history lesson helped you out a lot. I tried to keep it short and quick. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell.